Tara. Hey, Scott. Scott, Hi. we're going to take a really quick picture, okay? Ready? Okay. Three, two, no one. Perfect. Hi, Scott. How you been? I'm good. How are you? Very good. It's very early here in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, you're in Australia? Nice. Yeah. I'm actually supposed to do a couple of films. I have two movies lined up to do in Australia this year. But oh, wow. We'll okay. Yeah. Because of COVID Can and I all ask the... ones? What? Can I ask which ones? Um, both of them don't have a name right now. Like, they're, you know, they always give the name at the end. But um, oh, yes. one's, a, one's a comedy. One's called Signs, Signs of Love. And I forget the yep. other one. Um, and one has uh, Rita Wilson in it and uh, Chris Hemsworth and a bunch of people are in it. And the other one is kind of like a scary movie. But I don't know the name of that one. I forget. Sounds awesome, though. Do you yeah. have like a um, philosophy for success, like or a mindset or a process you do when you're starting a new project? Or like what would you say goes through your head when you're working out what you're going to do for something new? Um, I usually like make the character up, like not just say her words, but maybe give her like a, maybe she does this all the time with her hair or maybe she walks funny or maybe she, you know, could have a list or she's always doing this or, you know, always tapping her foot or I always try to give her some kind of something that makes her different than everyone else. And then I do the mental part of, what would she listen to? What music to get in her vibe and her headspace? So I kind of really create a character. So I, when I put the clothes on in my trailer, I feel like I'm her, you know? So it's kind of a process that's mine, uh, you know, and it works for me. Nice. Do you have a favorite pizza? Favorite pizza? Plain margarita. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, well, so nice to meet you. It was a pleasure. Take care, Scott. I see a circle with a line. Oh, okay. I think he's. I hope this is one of those times where they can see me awkwardly. Hey, we've got Scott. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, man. How about yourself? Very good. It's uh, early here in Australia, in Melbourne. Oh, whoa. Okay, so they told me that we do like a little selfie thing, I believe. We do yep. like a little, little pose for that. Do I? So we just smile? We just got to smile the camera. Ready? All right. All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Perfect. Enjoy the chat. All right. So, uh, what time is it there? Oh, it's seven a.m. Oh man. Okay. Mm. Thanks for getting up. So, how have you been? Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm good. Uh, I'm living in Boston right now with my wife. Uh, I was, and uh, I grew up in LA, so it's a bit of a culture. Uh, I don't know. Have you been to the states? No, just Hawaii. That's as close as I got. I think that's the only one you need. <laughs> I have yet, I've never gone. I lived, I lived in LA for like a, a, a ridiculous amount of time and never made it to Hawaii um, simply because I'm a redhead and the sun is my natural enemy. Of course, yeah. You mean. <laughs> I was wondering, like, do you have like a success secret or like that when you want to, you know, start a project or do something, is there like a thought process you have or... What goes through your head? Oh man, that's that's a big question. Um, as an actor, I have to say that I'm I'm, I'm pretty fortunate that uh, the majority of my work uh, has come to me. Um, so it's it's really just kind of been a gut thing of like, is this is this something that I want to put my energy into? Is this do I believe in this? Um, that to me is really all, all that matters is at the end of the day, like, cause you just, you want to make something, you know, you always, everyone, you want to make something good, right? Um, you Absolutely. want, you want, you know what I mean? Like the, 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 don't get me wrong. I love making, for me, I love making films and TV. That was really what, how I kind of really stuck with it. Uh, cause I started so young was just the process of, of making it was so great. But then I got older and was like, Oh wow, you really, you want that to turn out into, you know, you want it to be worth your time at the same time. So for me, it's really just about, um, just feeling that gut feeling. Exactly. Do you have a favorite pizza? 
uh, favorite pizza. Uh, yeah. I actually love right now Detroit style pizza, uh, which I didn't know existed. Oh, Scott, you're going. Okay. I still got you. Um, yeah. Detroit style pizza. I don't know if you can get it in Australia. It's like, uh, they, they basically almost, it's a thicker crust. They like fry it. It's, it's incredible. Have it if you can find it. Hey, Scott. Hey. How, How you doing? doing? <laughs> Jinx. Very good. Uh, so we're going to yes. take our photo real quick before we get going, if you're ready. Three, two, one. Gotcha. Thank you so much. How you been? I've been good, man. Just, you know, kind of barely getting back into the swing of, you know, this weird thing called life after lockdown. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's kind of weird. Like I was expecting zombies would be our post-apocalyptic event, but what weapon did you choose during your lockdown? <laughs> um, is a smartphone a weapon? Sure, as long as there's internet connection. I mean, other than other than that, it's not a very good bludger. <laughs> exactly, because like if you time traveled somewhere with a phone to the past, it's not going to make you a god because like you know there's no power, no internet. They kind of don't work by themselves. <laughs> right. That they'd basically just be like a very small camera. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, I think like against zombies, I saw like treadmills is a good way, like you put treadmills all the way around your house and then it powers your house as they, they keep walking. On the I treadmill. don't know if you, I don't know if you saw my last film that I produced with Mickey Rourke uh, called adverse, but I learned the value of a tire iron. So I think I'm going to choose tire iron. That's a good choice. What would you say is like your, um, success mindset trick like say like what goes through your head when you're thinking about doing a new project or something like do you journal or meditate or uh i mean i definitely am project oriented so if i have like a goal and a deadline of something then i can be solely focused on that and i can accomplish nearly anything so for me it's all about the carrot in front of the tortoise so when i don't have the carrot is when things are more challenging that's when you need the meditation and the manifestation is to, to try to create those imaginary carrots to keep moving forward. Yeah. If that makes any sense. So the goal gives you energy. What's your favorite pizza? Oh man. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm adding 10 seconds onto this because I've got to answer this question. Um, I, I do love a, a straight pepperoni, but the go-to yep. pizza in my house is pineapple chicken and artichoke. How about you? Very cool. Um, yeah, I like sort of barbecue chicken, anything with toppings. Love that too. It's been so nice to meet you. Hi, Scott. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Very good. We're going to do a quick selfie to start with. So smile for the camera. Cool. Okay. Here, here we go. Three. Two, one, perfect. Enjoy the chat. Where are you? Melbourne, Australia. It's like 8 a.m. here. So amazing. I was just talking to someone in Sydney saying Melbourne was my favorite. One of my best friends oh, lives yeah. in Melbourne. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, hopefully, you can visit me sometime soon. I'm dying to get back out there. But how has the whole lockdown been? Is it hard? Um, I think people have said that this one's affected them more than others, like because this is our fifth that we've just come out of, so we're we're oh out. Oh my now. gosh, you're out now! Oh, good, good. Yeah, but um, you'd think like we'd just be experts, like the whole world would be experts by now, and yeah, how to totally. survive it. Yeah. We know that, like you know, toilet paper is not something you have to hoard. Yeah, <laughs> is that what we all learned? That's so funny. <laughs> That's what I think some people learned. <laughs> Yeah, and some haven't. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like um like a success secret or like some kind of mindset or a ritual that you do before starting a new project? Like do you journal, meditate, or talk to friends or I, I do. I try to meditate head? all the time anyway. Um but I mean it's a lot of working on the character and really getting into the mindset of the character. And it can be hard if you're not if you're playing something so far from yourself and you need to stay in character all the time, it can really like mess up your brain for that that period of time you know so if i'm playing scared 
I remember when I did uh, 13 Ghosts. I was scared going home every night and like going into yeah. my apartment. I had to like check under the bed and check all the closets because I was just in that space. Absolutely. Yeah, it does get in your head. Do you have like say a favorite pizza? A favorite pizza? Well, I'm vegan, so I do vegan cheese and I love onion, mushroom, pineapple, things like that. So I don't do the meat though. I'll do Beyond Meat. Okay. All right, they're going to cut us awesome off. It's nice meeting you.